It's Saturday, September the 30th, and here is Aviation Weekly number 12. In this edition... Pilot Careers Live London will be held at Heathrow on the 4th of November. Imagine flying to anywhere on Earth in under 60 minutes. UAV History World War II Military Drones And the Boeing Dreamliner continues to pass milestones. Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and here is this week's roundup of aviation news from high altitude to below 400 feet. Each week I bring you selected stories in the worlds of airlines, flight training, aviation history, drones and UAV. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business. So chocks away then. Pilot Careers Live London will be held at the Sofitel Hotel Terminal 5 Heathrow on the 4th of November. The event is a career exhibition designed for anyone interested in a career in aviation and aerospace. The event has been organised by Seeger Publishing, the company that publishes the popular Flyer magazine each month. Seeger Publishing is to launch an aerospace career zone at Pilot Careers Live and this will showcase the many different careers available in the booming aerospace sector. You might be interested in aero engineering or flight deck positions, aircraft maintenance, airport operations, management, air traffic control or flight ops. Perhaps you have ambitions to be a commercial helicopter, airline or military pilot, or maybe you're just interested in a career change. Seminars will be held throughout the day and visitors will be able to talk to the many exhibitors about the training courses available for various roles in the industry. Tickets for the day-long event are just £5 and are available online from the address on the screen now. Next, Elon Musk, the billionaire behind companies and projects like SpaceX, Tesla, SolarCity and Hyperloop, has announced his vision of a commercial rocket service for fare-paying passengers on Earth. In the short video clip on his Instagram account, you can watch the vision unfold. Passengers board a fast boat and are transported out into the bay to the rocket launch pad. Lifts take them up to the passenger capsule for boarding. The rocket is launched and flies outside the Earth's atmosphere before re-entering in preparation for landing. The rocket in question is the same design that Musk plans to use to send manned missions to Mars by 2024. Using this method of low-orbit rocket travel, Musk anticipates journey times of Hong Kong to Singapore in 22 minutes, London to Dubai or New York in 29 minutes, and Los Angeles to Toronto in 24 minutes. We will watch developments with interest. Next, we are all familiar with modern-day military drones like the Predator or Reaper, which fire missiles while being piloted from bases thousands of miles away. However, did you know that remotely piloted drones were used in World War II? The American Special Task Air Groups deployed drones in the Pacific Theater. They used twin-engine bombers with removable cockpits so that they could be ferried to their bases by human pilots. From there, they would be piloted remotely by radio control by pilots aboard an accompanying TBM Avenger torpedo bomber. These drones, designated TDR-1, were equipped with a camera which fed images to a screen in the rear seat aboard the Avenger. Results were mixed, but promising, and these drones did achieve moderate success in bombing targets. However, for various reasons, the project was cancelled and the drones were discarded. The last remaining TDR-1 hangs at the National Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida. Finally, it's only six years since the Boeing 787 Dreamliner entered service, and it's safe to say that it's been a great success. It has flown over a million passenger flights, carrying over 190 million passengers. Its non-stop flights connect 150 destinations. It has flown over 2.5 billion miles and saved 18 billion pounds of fuel. The Dreamliner's cabin windows are larger than any other airliner currently in use or in development. The internal cabin pressure is set to the equivalent of 6,000 feet, instead of 8,000 feet, which is the norm in other airliners. 
This, combined with innovative cabin lighting design, provides a more comfortable experience for passengers. There are well over 500 Dreamliners in service around the world, operated by a diverse selection of airlines, from British Airways to Japan Airlines. A further 600 or so are on order, so the Dreamliner will be flying for a long time to come. Have you flown on a Dreamliner? How was it for you? Let me know by writing a comment below this video. That's all for this edition of Aviation Weekly, so subscribe to my channel for the next and to catch up on any you've missed. This was a Redspan Solutions production. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business.